time has come for my long-awaited apartment tour. If you're new here, my name is Clara and I live in a two-bedroom apartment in Raleigh, North Carolina. I make cleaning TikToks, so some of this might be familiar to you if you've come across one of my videos, but I'm a homebody and I take a lot of pride in my space. So I've spent a lot of time curating and decorating and perfecting my apartment and I can finally share it with you. By the time you're watching this, I am off on my next adventure. I'm moving to a three-bedroom house. I'm renting a new house and I'm so excited to do the same exact thing there and decorate everything, taking most of these pieces with me, adding some new pieces in. But without further ado, here is my Raleigh apartment tour. It would make sense to start my tour off at the front door and starting at the front door means literally the front door because I do have this renter friendly video doorbell thing on my door. I don't think I've ever shown this before, but this is a Blink camera. This is Amazon security brand. So it came, I actually don't know if this is an Amazon original or if this is just like a third party accessory, but this is like a tamper proof apartment friendly door mount so if your apartment allows one of these i highly recommend getting one it's not going to do any damage i can easily return this and it's just nice to have that little added security so that is truly starting at the front door if you've seen my closing shifts you know that i always put this up at night too is it actually going to protect me from anyone i don't know it's peace of mind that's all that matters but that's kind of my security situation here aside from the fact that my building is very secure but just some peace of mind you know next up is my actual entryway space these are two ottomans that i use for shoe storage they're quite full full to the point of not even being able to fit these new new balances that i just got in there the two ottomans are from overstock but it's one of those brands that's sold on a bunch of different retailers so you might be able to find it on actually i think bed bath and beyond is overstock now so it's definitely on there found them on Amazon before I try and always link them on my Instagram stories when they do come back in stock because I think they're great pieces this table above it is from CB2 they discontinued this color but they make this acrylic console table and I've seen similar ones at home goods if you're trying to recreate this exact combo I will say you'll need to pay attention to the dimensions of the two ottomans and just make sure they fit underneath the console table because the dimensions do vary and then obviously you want them to fit nice and neatly tucked underneath there but this is my shoe situation for the entryway and then and for keys, I just have this travertine tray that I got at CB2. I've actually seen a lot of travertine stuff at Home Goods lately, so definitely check there. This is my match collection that's small but mighty. She's growing. I got that bowl from Target, and then I just have a couple of my most worn handbags of the moment sitting right there. I also have this circle black mirror from Home Goods right above this whole situation, kind of as like a last opportunity to make sure. Your makeup looks right, there's nothing in your teeth, you know the drill. This mirror is so versatile. This used to hang over my couch in a previous apartment. I feel like I might have it over a dresser in another apartment. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks a little bit off center, <laughs> but regardless, this is a really good piece that I'm gonna use in a lot of places so long as it doesn't break. So this is a really good investment and probably one of the things that I've had the longest. Moving on from the entryway is this little hallway. There's laundry right here and then a storage closet right here. This is just one of those locked AC unit situations not able to access that and I did a whole YouTube video organizing this closet and then another one You'll see down the hallway So if you want to see the organization in there and in the hall closet go watch those videos It is not looking pretty right now But if you want to see what it should look like go watch those videos I'm not going to show you what it looks like right now because something might very well fall out and crush me This is usually the point in the hallway where the little bridge troll is sitting. Just kidding. This is Polly She's my pet bunny. She's four years old She's very social as you can see, but this is kind of like her spot that she sits so it's just a joke that you have to pet the troll before you can pass and she'll sit like this for hours if you let her but right across from Polly's spot is that other closet that I was talking about this is a decent amount of storage and then this is actually her room this is a guest bathroom that our litter box stays in and her food bowls and obviously and all of her other toys I'll show you kind of what that looks like, but also guests do have to use this bathroom when they come to visit. So I have added a couple touches like this box above the toilet, which was from Home Goods, and then this zebra I thrifted in my last apartment. And it's one of my favorite pieces ever. Another piece that I'll keep for as long as I can. Hopefully it doesn't break in this next move, but it's just beautifully framed. And the artist is Steve Hastings. Um, I found his work, but this is like really the only piece that looks like this and he doesn't sell it or anything So I truly feel like I found a gem with this. It's giving very much CB2 vibes in my opinion Polly just jumped up here to demonstrate what she looks like sitting on her little castle 
I am trying to find her replacement for this castle so bad because you can see she's done a number on it But I just can't find the same one anymore. It's not sold. They make a similar one I got it on Amazon, but um, it's just like different dimensions and stuff And I want to get her the exact same one so she doesn't really notice and so far I haven't been able to find it But she just chills up here and yes, she will watch you while you go to the bathroom She has like no sense of privacy, but love her dearly i got a really nice guest set of towels from lulu and georgia that's just two of them they don't look that nice right now but lulu and georgia has really good bathroom stuff on the counter is more poly stuff these are two oxo pet containers so they keep her food and treats from going stale and now that i just opened this she's definitely gonna expect one so we'll lock that up she has some toys these are some of those venus fleur flowers that are supposed to last for like a year or two and honestly, I think it's been about a year, so they're looking great. Thrifted this little acrylic tray, I'm pretty sure. Same with this little match holder. Then I just have this replica candle that my guests are welcome to light. None of them ever have, I guess. Moving on to the actual sink, I just have Aesop soap and this little container of Q-tips. And Polly's nightlight is this salt lamp, and it's out of her reach, so the salt doesn't matter. Last couple things in here are obviously her food bowl and then her litter box. And I do have a shelf in the shower that has some products for my guests. I love Melon and Goats products. I love when hotels have those, so I wanted to make like little hotel Melon and Goats vibe in here. And this shower rarely gets used, so this is also where I hang some longer items. I just washed these, so hanging these dresses up to dry, and I will put those in the closet once. Actually, they're probably dry. Yeah, I can put those away now. But I like to use this shower rod to hang stuff just because this shower rarely gets used. And speaking of shower, I do have a Jolie shower head in both of my showers, you'll see. I really like them. I know there's other things on the market now, but at the time that I was buying it, that was one of the only filtered shower head brands, and I'm a fan. Now we'll say bye to Polly, and we'll continue down the hallway. Right next to Polly's room is the guest room. So it's convenient for guests aside from the fact that she lives in there. This room has a nice little hallway that leads to the actual bedroom space. So I put this full length mirror in here. This is from Ikea and it's just mounted up with some command strips. The nightstands in here are from Lulu and Georgia as are these lamps. And I put this current charging mat on this nightstand over here for guests to use just so they don't have to worry about finding a plug or digging out their charger. The vibes I was going for in here are like a little bit beachy borderline coastal vibes you'll see that I have this beach picture I believe this is from society 16 society 9 I, the name of the website is escaping me right now but you probably know exactly what I'm talking about um, I just got this print it's the largest size they sell and I'll try and find a link for it if I can and put it in the description box that goes for everything that I'm showing but this is a queen size bed in here the bed frame is from the RH outlet in Northern Virginia they actually just put an RH outlet in the Raleigh area it's in Cary highly 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 recommend going there especially if you're already looking for pieces kind of in like that crate and barrel pottery barn CB2 price range you can find some really good RH pieces that kind of rival those prices and I think it's a better long-term investment just because the RH name carries like a bigger weight in terms of like reselling the piece in the future So I highly recommend going there This is actually an RH teen bed and it has these drawers in the base It has two drawers on either side So I put extra towels blankets stuff like that for the guests just so they're not digging through stuff I just direct them and let them know which drawer has other stuff that they might need speaking of extra blankets and quilts This is a recent addition that I don't necessarily like think matches with the zebra But this is a Brooklyn and quilt as is all the other bedding on the bed. It's just this linen quilt that they released. It's limited edition, so I just wanted to grab it while they were selling it because I definitely want it for the future. Again, not sure it matches the vibes really well in here, but one day I'll tie everything together. The zebra rug is from CB2. It's not actual zebra, and the rug underneath it is from Lulu and Georgia. This boucle bench is borderline one of my best home goods finds to date. I feel like when you find boucle furniture at home goods it's actually more of like a sherpa but this is a true boucle and i think it looks so luxe i'm so happy i got that the other side of the bed has the same nightstand and lamp and i did get this i think it's actually a gardening stool from target for guests to use as a luggage rack if they need somewhere else to put their luggage so this just slides next to this nightstand just because this room is kind of tight my cowboy boot of matches was a gift but it's the paddy wax brand and then i just have this salt and stone candle underneath this cb2 
cloche. Cloche, cloche. Not sure what that's called, but I think it's a cloche. <laughs> Across from the bed, so the guests aren't looking at this big blank wall, I printed out different black and white kind of like iconic photos and framed them in these Target frames. I think these turned out really nice considering how inexpensive of a project it was. And these mats actually look really high quality considering they were the ones that just came original with the Target frames. I do have this rechargeable picture light over everything that is not charged at the moment, but I just think it really ties it together. And lastly in here, and this room also doubles as a desk, so I opted for the staining desk that has this wood top and then a matching kind of like wood chair. The chair is not very comfortable, but it does the trick and it matches the top of the desk, so that's really all that matters in my mind. Continuing down the hall from the guest room, I did put these three paintings and picture lights up pretty recently. I just felt like this space was kind of empty, and truth be told, I looked into the windows at night and saw that one of my other neighbors in the exact same floor plan had three pictures up right here and I thought it looked cool. So I totally copied them. What are the odds that they ever see this? But I think it looks great and adds a little bit something when you're coming down this hallway and then looking down the hallway. There's Polly again, right where I said she would be. But then this hallway opens up into the living area and obviously the kitchen. The kitchen has these black countertops, which I'm not not a fan of. I just probably wouldn't choose for my own home in the future. I like that it's kind of a switch up from the classic white that you see in like most apartments these days, but at times it does kind of give, you know, seventh grade science class. But you know what, it's been a moment in time. I like it enough. The end of the island has these open shelves that I've used for some strategic storage because I wouldn't honestly have a spot for my cookbooks otherwise. So I like that I could put my cookbooks there. This is where I put most of my non-refrigerated produce. Right now there's only potatoes and lemons in there, but it's because I need to grocery shop today. So that bowl is from Lulu in Georgia. Then I have a cake stand right here, which I used on one occasion but obviously needed somewhere to keep it so that goes there this is a little container that i have lighters and matches in not like matchbook collectors matches you know just actual like candle lighting matches um that little container is from target i have this diptyque candle jar that i actually thrifted and refilled with unscented wax so it looks like i own the real thing <laughs> so that lives right there and then i have some cheese boards and cutting boards in the actual kitchen there's not much because i like to have an open counter so i have this ruggable on the ground this is a washable runner i've had this in the past two apartments love it can't get enough of it i do have the comfort pad underneath so it gives you like a little bit of squish if you're standing in the kitchen for a long time and then obviously you can peel off the top and wash that in your washing machine dry it and it's it's perfect i love ruggables especially in high traffic areas like this i just hang my kitchen towels on the oven i usually feel like i wouldn't know where my hand towels are from but i know for a fact this one's from home goods another thrifted diptyque jar to hold all of my utensils i just think that looks so sick one of my favorite thrift finds to date so long as the kitchen's clean i usually have a candle lit on the stove top that one's from home court my acrylic paper towel holder is from cb2 and then i have just hand soap and dish soap sitting out in these home court bottles they are not home court brand hand soap and dish soap because I never restocked on them after I got them. Um, I've just been refilling those with, you know, generic stuff. I do love home court products. I should probably switch back to having the actual products in there. And there are dishes in the sink because that is just life. The rest of the space is one big room, but I did my best to try and partition it off into little areas. So this is the kitchen slash dining area right off of the kitchen. I didn't want to do bar stools just because I thought it would be a little too crowded with the table for four right here and I've never really needed seating right there so it's worked out well. This beautiful table is from Lulu in Georgia and these black chairs are from CB2. I love these so much. They're so comfortable but the boucle does collect a lot of dust and lint so that's kind of a pain point of those but I just got these new placemats from Target that kind of blend in with the table. I used to have black ones right here but they like the chairs would collect dust and I always try and have some fresh flowers in here too. So this is all the ground we've covered thus far and the kitchen does continue to this little section right here. It's kind of random. I wish they would have done some cabinetry either to the edge, but whatever. It's worked out well because I keep my trash can right here. It's a simple human trash can. I love it. And then right here is a Lavoie air freshener that I also am obsessed with. And the only thing on this counter is my phone currently charging. Well, actually it's not charging. Let's fix that. And then my Nespresso machine. This 
apartment also came with this wine fridge that I wish was a drink fridge, but I've just kind of stacked all of my cans and wines and stuff in there and made it work. Moving into the living room area, I have a black credenza from CB2 that is unfortunately discontinued. It does have cane on the front, but I actually put some black wrapping paper on the interior of the doors so that it was kind of more like closed off, out of sight, out of mind storage. I have a Samsung frame TV that I am obsessed with. I wish I could tell you it was overpriced and a waste of your money, but it's not. I'm obsessed. The only decor I have on top of this credenza is two books with this surfer statue on top. I thought this was so unique. It's called the Cowabunga Surfer Dude. I'm pretty sure that's the actual name. <laughs> I have another air purifier over here just because Polly shed so much. And then the actual living room area is this couch from World Market. Pillows are from Ikea. Cowhide rug from Amazon. I just like the way that an organic shape looks in this type of layout instead of a harsh square or rectangle. Curly coffee table is from Amazon. Coffee table tray is no longer sold. Sorry, I get a lot of questions about that. And then these two chairs are from CB2. In this corner, I have this burl wood side table that I got at Home Goods little vase of more fresh flowers and then i have my workout mirror and this plant over here that i've had since college and she's been through a lot but she's still kicking and right off of the living room is the bedroom this is the bedroom layout it's big enough to fit a king size bed all of my bedding is from brooklinen the bed itself is from cb2 the mattress is from casper and this rug is also from cb2 the art above my bed is giving major mojo dojo casa house vibes but i will put the artist and the link to that in the description box because i always get compliments on that bedside lamps are from cb2 and the mirrors behind them are from amazon on, and then the bedside tables themselves are from Pottery Barn. I believe they are the Cayman style. I could correct myself on that, so stay tuned for the actual link to those. They're really big, actually. I'm finding it hard to plan around them for future places just because these are so large, but they fit a lot in that bottom drawer, and I like that you can kind of have a styled shelf right there. Love, love, love my hatch alarm clock and my little bubble tissue boxes from Amazon. This bedroom also doubles as an office. Desk is from Home Goods. This is kind of like the same CB2 vibe as the one that I showed at the entryway. This this pot is from West Elm. It used to have pompous in it, but then Polly ate the pompous, so the pompous is gone. Desk chair is Lulu in Georgia. Pillow is from World Market, I believe, and then I just have, you know, my desk items on there. This closet is filled to its brim, and there is really no organization strategy here. It is just a fit things wherever they can go type of vibe. So that's that closet. And the bathroom is attached to the bedroom in here. And moving on to the second bathroom. This is a two bathroom, two bedroom apartment if I didn't say that. Behind the door is my skincare shelves. I have them somewhat rainbow coordinated. And I also installed some acrylic shelves in the shower. If I installed, I mean they're adhesive. <laughs> but they take some elbow grease to get off. So consider yourself warned. The rug in here is also ruggable. And I have kind of the same vibe of the Target DIY, actually the exact same vibe just different target frames in here as well i just printed these black and white photos at walmart and then frame them with the target frames the stone tray is from target and then i just have a candle that switches out this one is from pros i believe is how you say it and i just have this thrifted little disco ball looking thing with some matches get a lot of questions about my bathroom trash can believe it or not that is from container store they also sell it on amazon i like it because it hides the bag kind of well you might have seen that in some of my cleaning videos. And I have a towel warmer right here and then obviously a toilet brush. Just like all the bedding in my apartment, the towels are from Brooklyn and I have a discount code with them that may or may not be active, but you can always try it. I believe it is Clara P. And then the only thing on the counters in here, much like the kitchen, are soap, some Q-tips. This thing is from Lulu in Georgia. And then I have this little affirmation card situation that is from amazon i have that linked on my storefront i just swap out the cards once a week aside from a laundry basket in here this is from target if you're curious that is all for the bathroom makeup and stuff is in that cabinet and then there's random junk and linens in that closet over there but that is all for the bathroom and that is all for the apartment i hope you enjoyed today's video i'm gonna link everything that i can in the description box but if you have any questions you can always leave a comment or shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'll try and get back to you about certain items if I didn't link them. But unfortunately, odds are if there's not a link, then it's probably not sold anymore. Maybe you got some inspiration for your own place from this video, or maybe you're just nosy like me and you want to see the whole picture since I've shown bits and pieces of it in vlogs before. But like I said, I'm off to a new adventure after this place.
place. This place has served me so well. I love this apartment so much, but I am so excited to get my hands on the next place and start decorating there. So stay tuned for moving and decor content and make sure you're subscribed here and follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.